Do you have dirt or tea on a YouTuber, influencer, or celebrity that the public doesn't know? If so, who? Um, I wonder if I'll get Sister Sood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. There is someone who I used to be friends with, Mr. Charles. Mm hmm And it was when he got his cover girl thing. We were, like, friends. Okay. Oh, no way. And calls me one day, and I'm at work, and I was like, hi. And he goes, oh, my God, I just got cover girl. He's like, holy shit, that's amazing. He's like, oh, my God, you're the first friend who picked up the phone. Oh. I was like, okay. <laughs> Should have known right I then was going to say, it's a red flag Something right there. isn't right. And so he was in the city, and he was talking about, like, his first cover girl shoot. And he was like, I just found out that Katy Perry and Zendaya are also cover girls, and I can't wait to, like, you know, get in with them so then I can be on their level. And I was oh. like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, so no, that's, I don't know if that's like dirt or anything, but it's like uh, definitely it shows like, yeah, it shows a lot. It makes a lot. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and I'm here with... Beauty by Shelby. Look at my little glove. Oh my God, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get gloves. <laughs> I mean, look, upside there's down. There's, I know, totally like wonky gloves. Like, see this one, this one's fine. But then this hand is <laughs> literally upside down, like inside out or whatever, but like whatever. Oh my God. I don't care. All right, the gloves are I'm off. Living for, I'm living for the fantasy. The gloves are off, girl. All right, we got a lot to talk about. What are we talking about today? Today we're talking about James Charles' assistant. Um, it's top of the town. Top of the town, girl. This is about the fifth video I done made because uh -huh. I can get day off to save my life. The thing about this is James Charles made his assistant Wait, Shake. let's see, there are seats in there. Oh, Gabby, <laughs> Hannah, who care, girl, defeated <laughs> dragon. Not wearing a mask. No, not wearing a mask again, girl. That was the kid dragon. What else new, honey? Oh, hey, hey, here there we go. go. Boom. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so his, James Charles made his assistant shave his butt. <laughs> shave his butt. <laughs> shave his butt. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. We're, this is a, this is the thing. This is where we're at in the world. Where we're talking about, you know what? And you know what? It's, it's so embarrassing. But I'll let you take it away. I'll let you take what what your thoughts on that is. Okay. I just want to know how much do you charge <laughs> to shave James Charles' butt? But, yeah. You know, and some assistants would do it for extra. For extra. Okay. Or someone who's really dedicated to the job, like really dedicated <laughs> to the job. Oh Dedicated employee, employee of the year, right okay, there. Exactly. And just to add context, like it was for Coachella. Yeah. There's a famous picture. Remember that? The ass, ass is yeah. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His butt's out, girl. It was. It was a look, and it made headlines around the world. And James Charles had this white outfit. I think it was like white. He turned around. You could see it, the cheeks. And it was like a thing. Look, he slayed. Like, he looked fantastic, yeah. right? Yeah, but... No one knew the assistant shaved his butt. Till now. Till now we know. And that's why this is what where we're at, where people are like, I can't believe Jay Charles made his assistant do that. But it, I think it sounds worse than what it really is. Or am I wrong? I... So here's the thing. I don't know... I don't know that you could pay me an amount of money to have to shave James Charles' butt. I don't know. So it's just like one of those things where, okay. I mean... Was she down? Is she? Does she have a background in like you know waxing, waxing mm -hmm. or something? Like why? Why wouldn't he go to just see somebody to get him waxed or something? Yeah, he, I know. I know weird. what you're talking about. And he also goes to like laser or hair away or something like that. Yeah. And he, I saw he goes there and they do his legs and stuff. So he could got the, the butt the cheeks uh, laser. Oh, I get it. Well, but then again, but then again, he just used Nair. Like you I get the so. Nair, you rub it. If you guys, you know, you've used Nair before. <laughs> I have. For those of you who don't know, you the Nair, you just put it on the skin, you leave it on for three minutes. Yeah. And then you just get a, a warm washcloth and all the hair comes off. I'm just like getting like it visuals. Smell I'm getting visuals of James Charles standing in the mirror at his house with narrow feet on his butt. Oh my and just God. waiting the three minutes to like scrape it off. <laughs> I cannot deal with that. Oh my God. <laughs> and it, it, the fact that it hit the, he the headlines, like it just looks bad on James Charles' part. And it's, yes. I think that it, that article or her was is in trying to embarrass him. That's what Absolutely. I kind of get. Yeah, Absolutely. so do I think that he wants his butt sh shaved or waxed every day? No. no, but it was for like a last minute, I guess, look yeah. for the Coachella. Doesn't make it right, but mm -hmm. at the same time, if 
you're down to do it, I guess you would do it. This is not against the law. It's I like, mean, it's a mutual agreement between the two. Was there like consent? Like, should she say, okay, I'll do it? If yeah. she said, okay, I'll do it, then she did it. You know, so I mean, but I guess it's kind of like, I feel like she might be just kind of kicking a horse when it's down, you know? Oh, it's perfect. Like, like James Charles said, this is perfect timing exactly. that she comes out now. Yes, it is perfect timing because, look, if she would have came out with this back then, mm -hmm. she would have got like, torn to shreds mm -hmm. because he it was well loved yeah. at that time yeah. and they would have called her liar and Kyle Chaser and now she's like okay he's not in the good graces of the people right now so you know this is the perfect time to come out and it's almost and from what I heard is that he offered her a settlement agreement she said no this is what I want yeah he said no so she went to the public and now he feels like he's being blackmailed yeah. that's what he said I think that this happens a lot in this like celebrity entertainment where people are like, hey, I want to settle this out of court. Yeah. And if you don't, I'll just go to the press. And it'll be, it'll be a lot, it'll be even more embarrassing. Yeah. But if you look at James Charles Twitter, okay, the, his <laughs> last tweet is saying um, that whole thing about like, yeah, I talked to underage guys. He admitting to it. Yeah. Then the next tweet is, this eight minute video, eight minute video yeah. about how he's defending himself against this lawsuit and the allegations aren't true. And so just like from this feed alone, it just It's looks, just a lot. It looks it's like, so what bad. is going on with this guy? I know, it's just you a lot get of stuff that in perspective. It doesn't look great. Mm -hmm. He should just shut up and not say anything at all. And it's all. all, it's, look, whether he's wrong or whether he's in the wrong or whether he's in the right, the feed is all, woe is me, woe, woe is, is me. me. Yeah. You know, and that's just... It's not, it's not saying anything at all. And that's why he has lawyers so they can handle it. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if, like, you made a video response every time somebody says something negative about you online. Like, you'll, you don't have time for that. You'll never be able to put out the stuff you want to put out. You just exactly. Be, yeah. You're always constantly it's just like, just, defending yourself or whatever. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that James Charles needs to do that. No. Let Because he has enough supporters that they can do that for him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need to even involve or do any of that. People are going to say what they want to say and that's okay. Like, let them, and let them, say what they let them say. voice their opinions because yeah. if you don't, they get even more upset. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So the other thing was that in the article, it talked about how James Charles walks, oh bro, how James Charles walks around saying the N-word in the house. Okay. I don't know. I wasn't there about that I, one. I don't know. I can't even justify that. The other part was that he walks around naked calling her the B word. That is weird. That one, I'm like, okay, is he saying it like in a friendly tone? Like, what's up, batch? How's he's... your day, girl? Or is it like really mean and negative tone? Like that. Yeah, because yeah. you could be telling a story and you're like, big, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or you could be like, you stupid, you know? Yeah, in a, in a bad way, yeah. And I don't know. But so when she said, oh, he walked around the house calling me the B word, it's kind of like, okay, well, did he mean it in a joke? Was it like in like how y'all would communicate? Or was it like, and then why would she stay around? Well, I'm not saying she should. I don't want to like get canceled or whatever for like the fifth, sixth, time, whatever. <laughs> but like I, it, that right there, the B word, we need a little bit con more context. We need more context because that is yeah. how, just how people talk. It's how I talk. Yeah, some people say yeah. that all the time. You know? Yeah. And so. Who, yeah. So I don't know. When I say I don't know, it just means I'm just confused about the situation. Yeah. I do think that some of the things she's saying is true. I do think that some of the things she's saying is kind of a stretch. Yeah, like, okay? I'm not calling her a liar. I don't know what the yeah. expression is. Kicking a horse when it's down, kicking a dog when it's down. Something like that. Whatever that expression yeah, exactly. is, right? Just like, just like coming after him because, you know, it's it's good timing. Now, if she was treated badly and all that and yeah. she has a suit, go go off, mama. Go off, sis. Do what yeah. you need to do. But are we are we taking it to the next level because we just want to, you know, get whatever we can for yeah, the situation. the money thing. And, and that I, happens a lot. That, and sometimes wow. a lot of people just pay people off. Yeah. Even if there are so many celebrities that just settle, and, and even if it's not true, they just settle because yeah. it's a nuisance. You're like, oh, you know what, just go ahead. I don't think he wants to settle this anymore. I think he wants to take it. And he said he wants to, what did he say? He wants to pursue it to he the wants to pursue fullest. It. James Charles is not going to back down. James Charles is a fighter. He's going to take it mm -hmm. to the court thing. This is a situation that... It doesn't look good. Do I think he called her, my, me personally, I don't think he called her the B word in a negative way. I think that she's saying that to embarrass him. I think the N word time. thing too. I think the N word thing, I, I mean, I don't know James yeah. Charles, never, obviously never spoke to him. Yeah, whatever. and we're not, I'm not defending James Charles. This, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just calling it like I see it, like some stuff yeah. is like questionable. Just seems kind of weird. Like and then I, she did sue other people. She And she has sued other people yeah. in the past. So, I mean, I don't know. Like. 
I'm not this massive James Charles fan or whatever. I'm just calling it like I see it. Do I think that James Charles is the kind of person who walks around his house saying the N word over and over to everybody? No, I just don't yeah. feel like that. And you know what? It, what it's, it it's important that you say that because I, I, I'm pretty sure there are other channels who are just like, oh, James Charles is a horrible, mean person, cancel the house. I don't want to join that bandwagon no. of hate no. of him because I, I do see, in my opinion, where I'm like, I don't really believe that that might be true. Mm -hmm. But then I don't know, but it's just going off because I'm allowed to have an opinion. Exactly. Okay, I'm allowed to have an opinion, exactly. and so are you. Yeah. If you think that he does say that stuff, he did do it, then leave it down in the comments down below. Yeah. But everyone's allowed to have an opinion and, like, I guess have an adult conversation about right. it. Right. I right. do think that some of the things he said it was true that she's saying. I do think that some of the said things is kind of a, a reach. Reach. Reach look. Reach look. <laughs> I do think that. And I think and, and it sucks to be in that position because it's embarrassing. It Can is. you imagine? Because especially if it's proven to it's, be. Yeah, because it's basically James Charles coming out and saying, well, that's not how I went down. Yeah. And it just looks bad. Well, do you think he has cameras in his house that like would Ooh. catch that mm. with audio? I don't know. Yeah. I, yo, yeah, de definitely. I think definitely does too, but yeah. I don't know if it goes that far back. If you can like pull the receipts out and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just embarrassing and it's a mess and it's mm -hmm. kind of, I kind of almost don't understand why there wasn't more of like a contract for her not to speak or something like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It but then again, like she would, he was, she was working for him. Here's, I have a lot to say, but here we Woo. Okay. <laughs> okay. She was working for him like in the beginning stages of his career. Right. Like back when he moved in downtown LA. Yeah. I remember those days. Yeah. Um, but it seems like she wants a lot of money because if she's claiming she worked 80 hours a week, mm -hmm. aside from the, I'm moving past the N word and the B word and walking around naked and shaving my butt part. Right. Let's move from that part. Okay. She's claiming I work 80 hours a week. Um, I only got paid, um, 79,000 a year, yeah. which I think comes down to like either minimum wage or like something for 80 like hours a week. Yeah. That's a lot because then there's no overtime. Right. You know, because so you're a salary. Yeah. If she's salary, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. A little bit of overtime thing. But I guess she can kind of claim that I built this brand. Yeah. You know, if I edited your videos and I was a creative director and I'm and in the article I'm pulling you out of bed, telling you to brush your teeth, yeah. ordering you food, like then in some way isn't she like a I guess she wants more of that James Charles because money she's claiming pot. that she was a a major force and what helped him become what he is. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm trying to say. That could, I mean, that's a could be a fair point of all that. It's true. almost like I built you. But James Charles is also iconic in his own right, and I think that he obviously did a lot of that himself as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got that that battle between the two of who is right, who is wrong, who did what. Like that, and then you have things like the algorithm, who would just naturally mm -hmm. exactly. just push his content mm -hmm. to the top. So it's a lot of that, and then his collabs too, exactly. you know, and More the cross pollinating of subscribers. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a lot. So I understand her argument, and I see where he's upset about it. You know, I do too, yeah. and it's just one of those things where I, I guess we'll see how it all plays out. He's gonna pursue this to the yeah. fullest extent of the law. We'll see who ends up out mm -hmm. on top at the end of this. It, it also maybe she feels like. I'm only getting paid seventy nine thousand, and he over here made like twenty million in one yeah. year. So then she kind of feels like I want, I deserve more. I want more. I want more of this, you know, piece of this. Pie. That's what is horrible about it. If that's the case, if too. that's the case, that's gonna let's oh, really like that sucks. That's like, and it all comes down to money and greed. Money and greed. Honey. That's my friend, uh, friend Ben Luke. When we talk on the phone, uh -huh. she yes. says, and it all comes down to money and greed, girl. Hi, Dan Luke. We love you we so much. We talk like murder mystery shows yeah. and stuff, and they, they all come down to money, money and greed. Money and greed, it does. Money and greed, honey. Money and greed. So is this what this is about, too? But I just, I don't like the, ah, what, what, what gets under my skin about the situation is some of the things that look bad but weren't bad yeah like walking around calling me the b-word if he was saying it in a friendly tone as how exactly. he spoke exactly that it's right there is kind of like oh then you just playing dirty because there's That's like hitting below the belt almost exactly. yeah because i mean like, so many people do that where they just where they're just like hey b what's up or it's a truth you know? but it's a half truth yeah yeah exactly. that's what i'm saying so, so i do think that maybe some of the stuff you're saying is true that she's saying is true but i think it might be a half truth because you have two sides of the story. Exactly. But again, this didn't even need to come public. No. They should have handled it behind closed doors. In my opinion, what would you, well, I would have just paid her off. 
What would you would have done? Would you fight it um, all the way, or would you have said it a long time ago? I would have said it a long time ago. Girl, what is it that you want? What is it that you need? Like, let's get past this, because right now you're reaching, and you, we know that you're reaching on some of this stuff. I apologize for whatever I did. What can I pay you to make it right? And then, and then, like, this is how much it costs to get this person out of your life forever. Exactly, exactly. That's all it was. That's all it was. There you go. It's like when someone owes you money, but mm -hmm. they don't pay you back. Yeah. Like, I don't chase them down for it. I'm like, that's how much it took for, for them to get out of my life. Exactly. And that's how I kind of see that's it. That's how you have to like, yeah. Okay guys, if you love Beauty by Shelby, I'll put a link down below. Um, for those of you who don't know, tell them what your channel is about. So, um, Beauty by <laughs> Shelby. So I do a lot of like, I also do commentary stuff like this. I do a lot of shopping vlogs as well. Oh, I love those. I, yeah, so we go shopping around like Saks Fifth Avenue, Marshalls, mm -hmm. Ross, and all, like, you know, just different stores. And then we also do like uh, new food releases when they come out. So when Starbucks launches something new, we should do one of those yeah. together. Or oh, like, yeah, down. Yeah, 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 for sure. So like when Starbucks launches something new or something like that, we'll go and we'll try that together too. So, yeah. So yeah, let me take out her channel, I'll put the link down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.